Unpack your HPA 100 LPB high pressure burner by opening the box and removing the internal top packing cover and then lifting out the burner. Check that there is no damage to the burner, hose and regulator. The high pressure regulator and hose were assembled and tested in the factory before packing and loading. Please read the operating instructions carefully before use. The tray is located at the bottom of the internal packing. The Oscrown Rambo HPA 100 LPB high pressure burner must be used on a non-combustible flat solid level surface. Make sure the cooker sits stably on the surface. If it is unstable, please adjust it by pulling the controlled knob out, loosening the two screws a bit, then pulling the foot under the front panel down until the cooker is stably sitting on the surface. Tighten the two screws and assemble the control knob by pushing back onto the shaft firmly. Make sure the LP gas bottle has sufficient gas. Ensure the gas cooker and gas bottle valve are turned off before installing the regulator. Before you turn on the burner, check all connections for gas leaks by spraying soapy water on all connections. Then turn on the valve of the gas bottle. If any bubbles appear, there is a gas leak. Retighten all connections and test again until no bubbles appear. Never use a naked flame such as a match to test for gas leaks. Before turning on the burner, rotate the control knob to ignite the burner a couple of times to purge the air out from the hose. In order to achieve a normal flame, you need to adjust the airflow control plate by rotating to lessen air supply or to open for more air supply. With too much air, the flame can lift up or jump. This can lead to unburnt gas escaping. Without enough air, the flame will become soft, long and red and yellow in colour and excessive carbon monoxide will be produced. You can adjust the flame from medium to high or low by rotating the control knob. After using your HPA 100 LPB high pressure burner, always turn off the gas valve on the gas bottle and ignite the burner to allow the burner to burn off any residual gas. Then turn off the gas valve of the cooker and the gas bottle. Do not touch the cooker during or shortly after use as it will be very hot and can cause severe burns. Only clean the cooker once it is cool to touch. Where there is cooking, there is Oscrown.